kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part four of my video series on group chatting app using Firebase in Android Studio. Okay, guys. So, in this video, we will try to cover the register part of our uh, project. So, let's get started. So, here we you can see we have this activity uh, uh, slash register dot xml. And what we will do is we will just copy that all the code from here and paste it in this register. the activity slash uh, register dot xml okay and what we will just modify here is the with we will embed the name in this uh, the, the name at the text so for that what we can do let me see okay so here we will just copy that and we will paste it let me see where we need to paste it yes here all right and here you can see we have another field now and this field will be named as your name and another thing which we need is instead of this password so we can say name and instead of this login we can say register all right and also we need to just change it to text and also let's change the ids for all our uh, edit text so here instead of this email id login we can have register and also for this instead of this login we can have the register all right also for the button okay so what i think we don't need the button but for this sign up let me give a space and let's okay so first of all we will uh, just initialize all the edit text here for our main activity and also we will try to have okay so here what we can do is we have the text input edit text and here we name it as text email then we have the text password Okay, and now we need to bind them. So, in order to bind them, bind them, we can here say uh, text email, and it's equal to text input edit text find view by id r dot id dot, and here we can say email id login, and similarly for the text password, we can say text. input edit text find view by id r dot id dot password id login and after that we need to you have the progress bar so we can say progress bar and we now need to bind it r dot id dot progress bar login and then we uh okay so now we need some variables for the firebase so okay so we do it in our next part of the video we will only try to integrate the firebase inside our project so in this video let's okay so we have this and here we can have some methods public void login user and we have the view here and in inside this we can write the code for the login uh, for the login and all right and let's set the on click method and we can say login user so i think also we need to have another method public void go to register and inside this we can use the intent to open the register activity so here we can say 
an activity dot this register activity dot class and we start the activity here and now we need to copy that And here we have this on click event for the button click I mean the text view click and also we need to do the same for our register activity and for that we just copy these two things sorry for these three things and inst for the progress bar I think I have forgotten to try to change the name so ID so we change it to register and then we can simply just initialize all these three things so here we can just copy that and paste it here and instead of this login we can just change it to register and password id register and progress bar register All right, and then we can uh, okay so here we will also have the method public void let me say register user and in, inside this registered user we can just uh, make the user register and here we can change it and we can say already have an account already have an account and we for the sign up we can change it to login alright guys so I think that is enough okay so I think also we need to um, use I mean change the forgot password so here we can set the ID okay so I think we don't need to set up the ID and for that we just need to remove that so we delete it and for the main activity we will implement the forgot password and for that we can uh, use the or I mean create another method for the forgot activity forgot password and here we can write the code for the forgot password field alright and after that what we can do okay I think our uh, login and register parts are completed so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel and okay so here let me create another activity and for this activity we can say uh, okay group chat activity and click on finish and now you can see we have this group uh, chat activity and instead of this constant layout we can uh, use the relative layout and all right guys If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Goodbye.